Hello viewers, Oren here again. Quick one today on setting up nested virtualization on Hyper-V. That's where you run a VM within a VM. I've set this up on labs a bunch of times in the past, but I'm building out a video on Hyper-V Replica, and when I was creating a lab to configure Hyper-V Replica for a Windows Server VM with a trusted platform module, I ran into a problem. I started by doing what you need to do with a virtual machine on which you wish to configure a Hyper-V host. That is, I ran the PowerShell command, set VM processor, dash, VM name, set the name of the VM, dash, expose virtualization extensions, and set it to true. Run that, turn on the VM, go to install Hyper-V, and I get an error. Now this hasn't happened before, Hyper-V cannot be installed because virtualization support is not enabled in BIOS. But I ran the magical PowerShell command. What's going on? Because I hadn't run into this before, I did a bit of research, and I found that the solution is to run the following command from an elevated PowerShell prompt. bcd edit slash set hypervisor launch type auto. So I run that command, and it modifies the boot configuration of the VM. I bounce the VM, Log in again, run add roles and features, and now I'm able to install Hyper-V without getting an error about support not being enabled in BIOS. I bounce the VM again to finish the Hyper-V installation. And as you can see, I'm able to install and spin up a test VM to verify that nested virtualization works. Other tips with nested virtualization is to turn off dynamic memory on your potential nested virtualization host and just use a fixed amount of RAM. Thanks for listening. See you in the next video.